for sure. How do you think that affects your mentality? Because there's definitely like a huge sigh of relief as soon as you get that top air. Like, I think that's the the big I, thing that you're trying to get. Yeah, I think I think it uh, in theory should help, right? Like it should help get, kind of take that pressure off of you that oh I need to win this or else I'm not gonna qualify for this other event. But now you're already qualified and you're just kind of in theory just having a good time with the rest of the bracket, right? So in theory, sometimes I think the flip could also be the case where like you're not as hungry so maybe you're like kind of like relax like the relaxing could be good or it could be the other way too like yeah sometimes yeah. being in the like focused tense kind of mindset yeah the nerves like, can help in a way sometimes like the, the the seriousness of it at the very least you know right but i, I think these players all do want to win too especially because they want like that w going into lcs right okay and battlefield game one oh some already really good spacing coming out from connor Ooh. Like that NIL. Yeah. I like the little wave dash down just to switch up the timing just a little bit. Oh, oh wow, Connor gets the air dodge, but still gets sliced up for it, of course. Okay. Nice cleanup on that stock from Connor. Connor's tech skill is looking good, man. Oh, oh no! Dude, but, every, uh, every time he says his tech skill looks good, he immediately escapes. I'll, like just, I'll, just, shut up. I'll just shut up about Connor's tech skill. Oh, oh no! Yeah, he definitely meant to immediately grab the ledge with the startup of up B rather than actually having to do it. Luckily for him, does not die for it because he easily could have. For sure, I think Ty missed a couple of uh, follow-ups there on the top on the left side platform. Mm -hmm. They probably would have gotten. Like yeah, a, a few tech flubs from Ty actually. Now that I'm seeing seeing it a little bit more. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess he was trying to read him like running all the way in there, and then he would get the the up like that. Mm -hmm. Smart from Connor, knowing Ty pretty could pretty much couldn't make it back to stage at that point, so the roll was a guaranteed kill. Mm -hmm. Above 100. Mm -hmm. Man, they're going. <laughs> look at the respect in neutral. They both just went to the opposite side of the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like when uh, Wizzy and Cole were playing blindfolded over <laughs> <That's right. laughs> <laughs> Wizzy just kept rolling. <laughs> he did the most optimal thing he could do in a blindfold. <laughs> Rolling all the way at one side yeah. and then doing the side beat. Yeah. <laughs> Genius. Ooh. Oh, this interesting side B option. Good choice with neutral B. I thought maybe you'd have to go for up air or something, but mm -hmm. that is definitely the choice. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> I think you can go out there. Oh, oh man, the coverage. Man. Really good yeah, coverage. Yeah, Ty's making this tough on Con. Oh, boy. And he even had really good DI on... Dude. Honestly, Connor made him work so hard for that. Ty was amazing with that edge guard. Yeah. You know how many different mix-ups Connor had there? Connor with, between did a, the edge lot of, a lot of really good defensive options to yeah. try to get out of that. The but... smash DI, the, uh, the air dodge, and Ty was actually just ready for all of it. Ty covered so many options there. It was yeah. really, really well done. Yeah. And uh, taking game one, Connor did have that SD early on, so... <gasps> oh, no, oh, again! And... Speaking of, oh, and the fake out oh, homie stock. You thought. <laughs> you thought we were friends. <laughs> you didn't homie stock me game one. <laughs> that's true. That, that's what was going through Connor's head right there. Definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Oh, man. oh, beautiful setup for that from Connor. Yeah. The way he was like dashing forward while Ty was on the edge, he was like, oh, maybe he's going to. What is Ooh, going on? He definitely meant to wall jump there, and that's why he did the side B. Did the silly looking side B. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, let's make out a shield. Okay. Oh, great dash back to set this up. Oh, man. Again, the air dodge is really smart there after that mm -hmm. forward air. Yeah, it's obviously we saw Ty cover it before, but. Oh, no! Connor! The delayed homie stock, that's what we'll call that. Yeah. Oh, I love oh, it. Boy, can't spot that oh. from all. Oh my god, and Connor's off stage now for some reason. <laughs> Randall is doing so much right now. Okay, okay, he's, he's back on. Oh, good job. Oh, that was some clean movement. And smart side B, good little delay there. To avoid the shine. Okay. <gasps> what oh, is oh, oh, wow, the counter side, Randall! 
What is happening, oh dude? My God. Oh, oh, dude. Connor has the 69. Ty's gotta be. It's gonna be so sad. And he can't hit him out of it. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> Randall again actually kind of <laughs> yeah, mixing he's, things up there. He's having a large influence on this match so far. More than one would want. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Connor the adult. <laughs> oh man. Connor the grown man. <laughs> the grown ass man. God damn. That was nuts. That was oh, he went boy. so low for that last shine. And why not at that point? Like yeah. was, I think that was a great play by Connor. Every time we've seen Ty like kind of mess around with Randall. It has not worked out for him. Yeah, like, he, he's he's really good at all the edge canceling stuff that he attempted. It just kind of didn't work out in this the last couple yeah. of times he tried it, unfortunately. Yeah. And honestly, it's just some great stuff from Connor, yeah, like the way he responded so well. But we do have FD Mars Playground coming up. Yeah, for sure. Let's see how he deals with this. If there was one time that I thought he was gonna go chic, I thought it may be here. But right. but his fox is playing so hot. So yeah, yeah. I I totally get it. Mm -hmm. That's that's another thing too is like, you you don't want to lose momentum, right? With yeah. the especially, it seems like he's been playing mostly Fox lately, so you don't want to switch for one one match that you might not necessarily win anyway, right? Like, yeah. He could lose a Sheik and then go back to Fox and be a lot colder because of it. So I completely agree. Yeah, it might not be worth Ooh. though. Ooh, he did a little turnaround too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I completely agree. She could be a total double-edged sword. Oh, wow. Okay. Connor got a little bit lucky there. There's some some risks were taken. Oh, yeah. The, the Uppy could have clipped him, and then mm -hmm. suddenly he's off the off the ledge. Right. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see what Ty's got off of this. Okay. Nice re-grab. Ooh. Ooh. Got that weak hit of up air, and that allows Connor to escape. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Outside the up tilt range? Okay. Ooh. Second hit. Very nice. Wow. Great spacing right outside the mirror oh. range. Nice from Connor. Mm -hmm. He's playing hot, man. He's playing yeah. hot. Yeah, that uh, that wave shine up smash actually harder to do than it seems. You need pretty good distance on the wave dash. Mm. And Connor didn't even dash after the wave dash. He just went straight into the up smash. So you know that he got some great distance there. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh my, okay. Oh, Could, tight. Yeah, a little, little homie. Yeah, yeah, I think so, actually. Just, yeah, just, you, he knew he messed up. He didn't want to take that freebie, basically. Yeah, I mean, he could have put out a jab or a down tilt or something there, mm -hmm. and Fox was really messed up. Mm -hmm. Okay, gets the chain grab, though. Okay. All right, re-grab. And so, that's the same situation mm -hmm. as last time, where he got the weak up air. I thought he might try something different, Yeah. but. That's always tough for Marth, doing the little slight DI. Oh. So you have to do that up here, but you have to get it right. Right. Shine stall. Going straight down. Smart. So smart. Yeah, after just going straight onto the stage with the previous up B. Yeah. Go straight down this time. Staying outside the ledge dash range. Can Ty take this? Oh. oh, great angle. Okay, Connor finally finds a hit, and it's going to lead to the stock. So. Yeah. I like that he didn't Quick turn uh, around. No follow up after the first like the dash attack. He waited before he did the, the punish. Mm -hmm. I like that. Ooh. Okay. All right. Last stock in this pivotal game three. This is big. Oh, uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Man, you saw the forward smash come out, but he was so yeah. deep in there that the mm -hmm. shine just gets it. Okay. Oh. And. Soft reverse bear. He wanted that to reverse, probably lead into an up air, but now. Oh, in the beautiful slightest DI. We saw Ty try to turn around because he thought he was going to be just slightly the mm -hmm. other way. Ooh. Oh, nicely done. The running shine into the wave dash up smash. Great stuff from Connor. And yeah, with that slight DI, Marth, if you do the slight DI properly, Marth has to pivot to cover it because if he turns around, then you end up behind him. And if he doesn't turn around, you still end up behind him. Like it's. Right. It's a really good way for Fox to deal with that situation, but Marth can also just cover it by pivoting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and so obviously back to FD. Didn't go too bad for Ty in general. He got a lot of the chain grabs and a good amount of damage off him, but it was some of those situations, like those weak up airs where Connor was able to get out. Mm -hmm. And Connor is hitting a lot harder than Ty overall, for sure. For sure. Now, if you want, you have to counterpick. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. That time he gets the the, the proper up air. Right. Oh, Ooh. the sh uh, long short in there. Yeah, but right above the down tilt too. Mm -hmm. The only thing that really could have worked there was maybe like S or jab. Mm -hmm. What we see is that people throw out. Okay. Oh, good delay with the side B. Yeah. <gasps> Catching the dash back with the F smash. Nice. All right. And just baiting out the grab with going straight for that up smash. Yeah. Connor looking poised to try to make grand finals here. Yeah. Let's see what happens here, though. This is big. Oh, oh the shorten. shorten again, the mid shorten. Dude, Connor's recovery has been so on point, actually. Yeah, it really has. Ooh, and he tries to get that running shine into the air. Oh! Ooh! Nice. Keeping it relatively simple there, Ty. Making sure that he gets that stock for sure. Nice. I like that he actually didn't go for the, the punish after the back air. It could have been even worse, but man, Connor's still doing it. Ooh, and. Connor could have got the roll up there, but was trying to cover a couple more things with the getup attack, but he had run out of invincibility already. All the mix-up, wow. so he rolled, he did the light shield edge guard, that, and then he jumped out of it. Yeah. He thought he was gonna get hit, so he did the counter. Yeah. He didn't actually hit, and right. then he grabbed ledge. What? Very, very good stuff. How many from, different- Honestly, from both, there was layers to that. Yeah, there's so many layers, what the hell? That was like in two seconds, bro. <laughs> okay. Tech in place from Connor allows him to get out. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's a big tipper. That might be stock. Oh, oh, oh wow. I think he kind of mistimed the way he jumped yeah, out. Yeah, I think he actually had the right idea, yeah. but just mistimed it. Oh, oh wow, Connor! Don't oh, and then he's just trying to style, man. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, oh what's the that? Phantom? Was that a Phantom? What's happening? Yo, this is crazy. Oh, and the- Connor the- Down here, oh my god! Connor the Magician! Let's go, dude! Okay, okay that yeah, should yeah, be yeah. it. Relax, Unless... we, gotta, we gotta relax. <laughs> oh relax, god, okay. Connor. Good lord. Okay. This is still, like, if Ty gets his first opening. Oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> down tilt. Oh, wow, no down tilt. Yeah. I think that might have actually hit. I think he second guessed himself. Mm. Oh, and that's going to be the stock. So last stock, Connor trying to make it to grand finals here. Ty looking for his run back against Aura. Oh, that's unfortunate for Connor. Oh, what a tipper. That, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, oh that was a God. huge tipper. Yeah, that's that was an insane tipper. And it looked like <laughs> Man, he, what a match. he didn't go for like the immediate follow-up off the aerial, mm -hmm. but spacing for that tipper. And you saw the, the DI that <laughs> Connor had. Definitely was not expecting it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Great stuff yeah. from, honestly, both players. There's so much crazy stuff that went down in those last couple stocks, but that, that we have a game five on our hands. Snaps. Ooh. Man, yeah. I think he was anticipating, like, DIing to the platform and he wanted to cover that with an aerial instead. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, Con Connor almost just is playing too well sometimes. Like he, <laughs> he, he uh, again, just oh. be feeling himself a little too hard sometimes. For sure. But Ty, Ty, this this combo sequence has been super good. Missing the edge cancel yeah. there on that downer, but he's still going to tipper. He missed the pivot. Yeah. So he saw that dash. Right, 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 right. Okay, still okay. recovering. Yeah, he had that double jump in the cut. Oh, but he... No. Oh, yeah. oh they're the friends now. Song. They're Aww. friends. This, <laughs> over they, the course of the set. They had to earn the homie <laughs> hominess throughout the set. <laughs> At first, they weren't homie stalking. Now they're all about it. Except for the friend request. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't leave him on scene. Didn't leave him on scene. Oh. Okay. Oh. I like that a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. Catch okay. that particular DI. They're like a little bit closer to the stage than when you need to jump off. Right. Okay. Run off. First time we've really seen Connor use down tilt the whole set. Not a bad choice against Marth, and... Doing that up B is so good, because it causes the Marth to get burnt, and then from there he does the shine. Right. It's also very risky, though. You have to be confident as hell in for your sure. tech skill, because if you are if you lost invincibility, then you might be screwed. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, he, I think he dies if he gets it wrong, because mm -hmm. he can't get him clipped in that particular Oof. situation. See, like right there, for example, I think if he had just gone straight into Shine instead of doing that Nair, it actually would have sent Ty off stage and he might have been able to follow up. Like, keeping it simple sometimes is is the most effective option. For sure, it goes a long way. It really is. 
right? Two stocks apiece. Oh. Good roll in. Really good roll in to get out of the corner. High back in center stage. But the grab goes for neutral air. I think he wasn't... I think he wanted more of a follow-up nice. instead of the up air. Which actually worked out well for the edge card. Yeah. And Connor, I love the confidence from Connor not showing any signs of, oh, this is game five, you know, last stock situation. He's like, I'm, I'm still going in. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh going for it. That he's doing, he's taking your device, man. He's just going right for these down airs. Yeah. As opposed to extending the combo. Because Connor is so good when you give him Ooh. a chance. Oh, oh. And he, that would have been really, really good from Connor. But now Ty, one more shot. Okay. Okay. <gasps> He has his jump still. Gonna yeah. get back on stage. Oh, but that's not yet. Yeah, not enough time for Ty to get out of that. Connor taking it three to two. Yeah.